Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Sinful Duck, and welcome to my guide on add-ons. I use... I only use a few add-ons, and in every single video that I post, I get questions from people asking me, what add-on is this? What add-on is that? So, I've made a video on this once before, but I want to do it again because a couple of them have changed since the 5.0 patch so let me go ahead and show you what I use and I want to show you guys a little bit of how I set them up and why I did it that way so let's get into it alright so we're back here in Orgamar at the training dummies and I'll start by going through just what you see on the screen right now. Uh, the add-ons that you can see on screen right now, my unit frames, so down here, my health bars and my targets, um, that is an add-on called AG Unit Frames. Now I know a lot of people use X-Pearl, and X-Pearl's great, but the one thing that AG does that X-Pearl doesn't and the reason why I use it is because the health bars are colored by class. Now with x -Pearl you can get stuff colored by class, but it just doesn't look as clean as AG, I don't think. You can see here I got this mage targeted, everything's blue. You target this warrior, everything's brown. It's, you know, it just gives you a nice clean representation of what you're looking at. Um, with that, I have them set up here in the middle because number one it's just how I like it but number two uh, I like having them close together because you can look at your own health as well as your target health at the same time now let me target this warrior again and you can see I've got the warrior targeted here and I've got his target right next to it so I can see who he's targeting all within the same small screen area now if I want to set a focus target, and I'll just set this warrior as a focus target just as an example. There. My focus target shows up right next to my name. So I've got my focus target, my target, and my target's target all within a very small screen area. So I really don't have to go very far to get all the information that I need from that. So that's how I have it set up. That's the way I've been using it. That's the way I like it. I know a lot of people like to put the focus target up in the center of the screen, make it bigger. Um, you can do that, obviously. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. But I just prefer having it this way. Now, I will say this. Uh, my focus frame usually does have a bigger cast bar. That's something that just changed with these recent patches, and I just haven't fixed it. So, yeah that's that so let's move on uh, next up on the list is bartender so bartender is the action bars it's all my nifty little buttons down here and I like it just for the simple fact that um, it's got great options it's easy to set up and it just looks clean it's nice and I do I do like the fact that you can actually shut them off so I can set up all my hotkeys and then make the, the the bars not visible. So if you go here, uh, like bar one, I can take the visibility, always hide. There. Now all the hotkeys down here on bar one, my one, two, three, four, five, all those hotkeys will still work, but you don't have it on the screen. So it's kind of nice if you like to have a nice, clean, empty screen. It lets you do that. So uh, not a big deal, but for some people, it is. Uh, another thing to go along with that, the third cooldown on this, or I'm sorry, the, the third <laughs> the third add-on on this list is called cooldowns. Kind of ruined that one. Uh, what cooldowns does, which I have also shown in another video, um, it just displays a countdown timer right on 
the hot bar. So you can see just at a quick glance if something's on cooldown or not and tells you exactly how long. So uh, let me go ahead and pop something here. Uh, how about my Shadow Fiend? Okay, so I throw that up. You, you can also see the pet bar pops up above here. You can set that wherever you want. I just prefer it there just so it kind of blends in. Uh, but you can see on the Shadow Fiend, Shadow Fiend unit frame, that's kind of a tongue twister, uh, it tells me I've got three minutes left. So you can do that with a lot of other things. So pop another cooldown. So I've got four seconds on that, three minutes there. You know, it, it it gives you, you know, 30 seconds on that. It gives you a nice indication of what you've got and what's on cooldown at a real quick glance. So, love that one. I that has become cooldowns is one of the things that I I cannot play without it anymore. If I play on someone else's computer or um, like in PTRs if you're using the standard blizzard unit frames and and hot bars and stuff I have to have this that's the one thing that I really can't play without anymore um, another thing that has become increasingly difficult to not have was an add-on I used to use called plate buffs it was probably the one that got me the most amount of questions and what that did is it displayed the um, enemy cooldowns as well as my dots and everything over my targets uh, over my targets head that doesn't work anymore so I've had to substitute it with tidy plates tidy plates is nice and it's what you're seeing up here above the uh, it's the nameplate here above the training dummy and this one will show you your dots on the target so that's good uh, the one thing that it doesn't do is like a tidy plates doesn't show you things like um, a pally bubble or uh, a DK's AMS so there is some functionality that it is missing compared to plate buffs so hopefully in the future plate buffs will get updated and we can use it for Missa Pandaria um, that's pretty much it I really don't have any other add-ons uh, I've got the AG Uniframes, Bartender, Cooldowns, and Tidy Plates, and that's it. That's all I use. Now, the uh, Tidy Plates, I really, I just use default settings for that. It really works quite well if you just install it and go. You, you really don't have to do any setup with that. Um, cooldowns is the same. You just install it and go. There's no setup for it. Now... AG Uniframes and Bartender do require some time to go through it, mess with all the settings, and set everything up just the way you want. So if you do install them, I highly recommend taking the time to just sit down, spend a half an hour, go through everything, and get it the way you want because they are very customizable and you really can get it to do almost anything you want. So take the time, learn it have fun alright guys so hopefully this helped uh, hopefully I answered some of your questions as to what I'm using and what they do uh, if you guys have any other questions or you have any suggestions for maybe some add-ons that I don't use that maybe could help out in PvP let me know in the comments below uh, please give this a rating thumbs up thumbs down uh, let me know what you thought until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe so you can see when the next video of the series comes out. And I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.